Lilo Dallas Multipass. Reviewing DAX, like very basic $100 DAX, is like, it's an excuse for me. Because, like, what am I going to say? It has a switch, it goes USB, fiber optic, coaxial, and then it outputs sound. So, what I tend to do as a reviewer is to have fun with it. Like, all right, let's get absurd. Um, let's, it's got to be powered with USB, so let's get out the topping uh, P50 so we could have a full linear power supply for this. And then what's an amplifier that I love but I haven't used in a while? Ah, the Drop THX AAA-1. Because since it's an unbalanced, just, you know, single-ended DAC, let's get a unbalanced single-ended amp. And then let's, all oh, what headphones I'm gonna use? Ethers with the Yaxi pads taped on with tape. Let's, and then I just get to sit here and like fuck around for a while. Cause I'm just listening to hear if the DAC does anything wrong. Cause I don't expect it to. Like, no, if it did something wrong, like wrong, like, oh my God, why is every song sung by John Leguizamo delete this from human history? But it's not that, it's just, it's just, I get to sit here and listen to music and just listen to a DAC on an amplifier I trust and headphones that I know very well and I know I'm powering it properly. This is fun, I pick a cute wallpaper. This one's been in the queue forever. I'm like, you know what, now's the time. Let's give an amazing wallpaper for a cheap DAC because it does exactly what I expect. Actually, all right. The whole point of Z reviews was always the price to performance ratio. And while I haven't actually set up a crazy system to, to test like, I've got the Aoun S8 over there, which is one of my favorite, more expensive DACs. It's like $900. And I love the thing, except it fucking fucks up and it like clicks and does weird. It doesn't accept fiber optic. It. it Point is, I love the way that DAC sounds. So let's compare that DAC to this DAC and let's go A and B it for, for three days. It's like, nah, nah. This, if you're watching this channel, the point of the channel should be that you can find audio happiness at any budget. And if you think you need to spend money to be happy, seek psychiatric care. Because you don't. Are these expensive headphones? Yes, they're like $1,700 headphones with $100 Yaxi pads on them. But the, the, the amplifier, the, the AAA-1, isn't that expensive. It was like, what, 200 bucks? I forget what it even came out at. I was, was trying to guess the price. And sitting here, and I don't, you don't need the linear power supply, but I'm if I have the fucking thing, I'm going to use it. And I'm just like, all right. And with what I'm experiencing right now, is what I'm experiencing now worse than if I was using the Hollow May upstairs, or that Aoun, or, you know, any other number of expensive and fancy DAX. No. I am just as, that, that's the goal, and this is gonna be a weird, like, offshoot review, because I have nothing really to say about this DAC other than it performs admirably. This is not the multi-bit, this is just the Modi Plus, Modi 3 Plus. And love the, are you ready? We'll do the whole fucking review. Here's where you plug in power for when you're using a coaxial or fiber optic. If you're using USB, you can just plug it in USB. I don't believe you need to use the external power because I didn't test it. Because why would I? Like, I mean, this is great. It's exactly what I want. Boom, out, in. These, I'll link to these uh, world's best cables. I can't link to this because I bought that years ago. It, it's got a box that's nice. Here's your coaxial switch, your fiber optic, and then USB. You could just, you could just switch a switch and there's a white light. The end. We we're done with the review. So now I just get to sit here and complain that people spend way too much money on audio to be happy. And I can understand if you spend too much money on audio to get laid. I g grasp that concept. I understand spending too much audio to become a professional mastering mix. Like you're working in the industry. You got to make sure your shit's together and, and everything's good. But if this is just a hobby, like I don't like people who take their hobby to the extreme. It's very interesting to watch on YouTube. Like you watch car builders who have like built a car from scratch. Like that guy who bought the like 1950s Mercedes. And then like recreated every panel out of carbon fiber so he could make his own fiberglass version of it. And this way he'd have to destroy the original car and he spent more on the copy than the original cost. And like that's, you're obsessed and it's great YouTube. But if you're just listening to music, honestly, spend the most 
on your headphones and on your source music. Make sure you get something quality that you know, Spotify works. Spotify Premium works better. Uh, title, you know, is okay if you live in the library, but you know, make sure you're not. You, I don't want to tell you you can't listen to a genre of music you like, but let's face it, there's been some music that just doesn't sound good on no matter what the fuck you're spending on the equipment. You can't fix shit sometimes, even with expensive IEMs that I say, all oh, these fix everything. Um, so yeah, I think I just, that's it. This video is an argumentative discussion on are you spending, if you had to, at your very first introduction to good audio, set a price limit, like on the stock market, like I, I want to spend no more than this. I guarantee you most of you would have said something in the range of like maybe $300. I'm willing to listen to good audio, but I'm not spending more than $300 total lifetime. Could you fucking imagine lifetime? I'd still be in business as a channel because there's many little options you can configure to go KPH 30Is plus Mahdi plus Magni Stack. It's great. Go for it. Or onboard audio, you know, with a USB adapter. You want to get the Magni because you got a little bit harder to drive. Have it. It's good. So it's, it's just a matter of like really I'm probably going to, you know what? If you unsubscribe from my channel, you're better off for your wallet. Because I'm here to tell the new people every time they show up what's good. And the problem is the people who have been there for like six years are just like, oh, that's good. Oh, that's good too. Oh, God, that's good. That's good. And those are good. And ah, uh, and then you're broke. Pick a fucking limit to this hobby. Because this thing sounds good enough that I wouldn't care. I don't care. You should not care about, about this hobby to a point where it, like, it hurts. Where it hurts your bank and it hurts your, your funds and you should be investing in like your future and, and you know savings and buy better pasta. That's a thing. Um, don't buy the cheap 80 cents a box macaroni at the store. Look for the expensive imported ones that are in 500 gram bags. Not pounds. Buy the 500 gram bags from Italy. Because they don't even convert it. They're like, what the fuck is a pound? 17.6 um, ounces, it'll be. Actually, buy those. Because they cost like 4 or $5 a pound or 4 or $5 a bag. And when you cook it, if you cook it right, it's like, wow, why is this pasta so good? You know why it's so good? Because you were able to spend $4 more a pound than the $1 a pound on pasta. And because you didn't go through fucking not so auto equipment. Think about how much your life would improve. You could afford a, ba a bidet by now. I would rather have a good bidet than a good DAC or an uh, expensive DAC. Let's put it that way. Anyway, um, this is a short review because fuck it. Because I, there's nothing else to say about it. I've, I, I've been just sitting here enjoying music. This next track. I wouldn't get the multi-bit version. Having never heard the multi-bit version, I know this much. Multi-bit requires, if you actually want to benefit in an audible fashion to multi-bit, like legit multi-fucking fuck you bit, you usually gotta spend in the couple hundred dollars range. And going from $99 to $250 for just the internals being a multi-bit versus the standard, I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Even having not heard it, like what, what was this? Well, what if it's amazing? You're missing the whole fucking point of this video. Just enjoy your music. Enjoy your music with the lowest common denominator. If you can enjoy your music in the shower on a mono radio, you're done. Don't come here. I'm just, I'm just, um, I've spent so much time in the last two weeks with products that put a gemstone in the title, which a gemstone in the title represents a thousand dollars. And if just three gemstones, that's three thousand plus dollars. That I'm just like, why the fuck are people spending this much? I mean, I get it. RF7s are amazing speakers. But then you get into like, you start touching on the more expensive, like little niche products. And I was like, ah. I guess I'm an audio reviewer. I have to sort of delve into this stuff. But I don't like it. Not that I don't like it. Like, I can absolutely find the joy in an $800 set of IEMs. Holy fuck. But most people, I don't want to turn them off of audio because I think they can't afford what makes them happy. You could absolutely afford the shit that makes you happy. You just have to get past the, the line that the plebs are under. There's a pleb line where they don't know what a DAC even is. If you don't know what a DAC even is, all this does is take my digital music, whether it's from Spotify or Tidal or Amazon Music or fucking Flack, and it makes it into pretty waveforms instead of like hex code ones and zeros and shit. It's a sound card, it's a sound card. It's an external sound card. 
It's an external sound card with the least amount of features you could ever ask for. Because you plug in the thing, then the thing comes out, and even a sound card can power headphones. This won't even power fucking headphones. You gotta go and add your own amplifier to it. <laughs> There's someone out there watching this right this second who's like, you can't even power headphones with it? I gotta spend more than a hundred bucks? Yeah, you do. But I mean, you could you could spend 130 and just get the IFI Zen DAC, and then that's USB to headphone out. Think about if you're explaining it to that guy, what a, what a, what a DAC and combo. It's USB to headphone out. That's that's what you have. That's all he's got to know. They just try to recommend a good one so he doesn't end up buying shit and pr keeping companies who sell shit in business. Not that I don't want to keep shit in business. They they, they really need their name is great, but it's mm, it makes my conversations much more difficult. Okay. Yeah, no, I I just needed to get that off my chest. It's like, I I wish like every week I could put out a video where I just yell at people for spending too much money on this hobby. There's so many other things you could buy. Nice things. There's things you can invest in. You can just give money to a homeless person, except in Portland where everyone's a homeless person and they're scary. Because then they're just gonna, there'll be an army that'll rise up and it's like, oh God. <laughs> my friend told me yesterday, um, that he he's he, he like guns and ammunition. And he says the people he knows with the most guns and most ammunition live in the city limits of Portland, because it's like the, it's like we're like they're waiting for the Walking Dead to begin right there. It's like that's where it's gonna start. That's the origin story where someone's gonna sneeze and boom, zombies. Everyone who was just vagrants are now zombies, and that's that's how the movie begins. We're off on a tangent. That wallpaper, cute as fuck, and I'm glad I saved it for just a rant where I stare at it and listen to music and I enjoy myself. I'm sorry about the buzzing in the background. I may, if you hear a buzzing in this video, that's because my heat is running because it's like nine degrees out and two feet of snow on the ground. Um, I may rip the audio out of the video and then apply a high pass filter to cut out the lows and then, We'll see, because I've got a couple of these now, and they're real. It's getting annoying when I'm watching the video back, because I have to rewatch these. Imagine having like a, a spur of the moment, passionate, like gushing, like vocal rant, and then like a day later, you have to watch yourself have that. That's me. Every video I do, I have to watch again, because I don't know what I meant. What if I say, "Hey, don't forget to look at the topping A90." And then in the description of this video is a topping A90 because you think that's magic? No, because I rewatched this video and I sat there with my keyboard going, all right, I got to link the topping A90. Okay. Uh, women's swimsuits on Amazon. Oh, I got to link women's swimsuits on Amazon. Oh, uh, oh, uh, anime figures. Oh, got to link anime figures. All those things will be in the description because I've rewatched this video because I'm not going to remember it in the time I download the camera, re-encode the video, Upload it to YouTube, rewatch it, get the links, then go and apply the links, and then post it. So it's all it's all fun and games for everybody, um, especially me. I get to see my psychosis unveil over time. This is a really good setup, by the way. Like this, this feels. Th this is a good spread. You got to spend a lot on the end game. You got to modify it, and get it just right. You got to power it. You got to just, just get it good. Just mm, linear, fine, but get warmer. It's more expensive. Well, that's not that much. Get good amp, and then just get a DAC. Just get a DAC, and then you're done. And then pick good music. So that's it. I'm Zeos Pantera. Uh, this channel uh, moved from where it was to where it was to where it is. Thanks to support by people on Patreon and Subscribestar. If you want to continue to support this channel and see videos like this early, so you can call the authorities earlier about my mental state. Um, feel free to jump in for $5 a month. You'll also get to participate in the yard sales from the 1st to the 10th of every month. Um, I, I bought this. I think I bought this straight up. So I could yard sale it. I mean, it's one of those things that like, do I have more, do I have enough? I mean, Gashelli Labs like literally gives me endless supply of DAX because they're like, here's this new revision. Here, we resolder this thing. So I have DAX piled up my ass. Not physically, but, you know, m figuratively. They, they, I guess I would I'd have to measure the... If I stood them on end and I stood up, would it reach my ass crack? I think it would. The J-Nogs are pretty tall, and I have two of those. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I could just yard sale this. I might yard sale it. We'll see. Because it's doing a fantastic... It is like the most basic fucking deck. And that's enough.
$10 tier gets you in the behind the scenes private telegram chat where these sort of uh, it, mad ravings, these Lewis Black fucking channeling ravings happen all the time with voice messages and things like that. So if you want to be part of that, just social degradation experiment, just $10 a month on either platform. And then um, check out Hi-Fi Guides in the forums. I want to do more there. We're going to do more there. And when we do more there, we'll do more there. In fact, there's supposed to be a fucking thread that everyone's supposed to post my wallpapers every fucking day and discuss them. And it isn't happening. So I'm going to find that thread that I started, link it in the description of this. And future Zeos is going to hear me say this and go, fuck, because he's going to go to Hi-Fi Guides where I started a thread that was just like, let's post all Zeos' wallpapers every night, and no one, no, I don't think they've continued it. It'd be kind of cool if like everyone like, oh, who's the artist of this? Oh, that's great, here's his other work. Oh, And then like the next day, the next picture is there, because the weeb fuel powers me through the, the audio bullshit. And then I yell about don't spend money. So there we go. I'm done with today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. It's probably longer than it needed to be, but yeah, fuck it. Why is that on? This is on, and this is on, and those should not be on. Although they are keeping themselves warm in this chilly fucking basement. I'll see you all tomorrow for normalcy or some shit.